Hi, my name is Oli and today we will check DPI or in other words how to fully use the potential of your mouse DPI without playing like that. I mean using your mouse full DPI potential without affecting your sensitivity in game. For example here I play CSGO with the Ryzen V2 Pro set to 30,000 DPI. As you can see, it looks like I am playing with my standard 800 dpi. I will show you how to set this up and use the full potential of your mouse. For this, I will use the Viper V2 Pro, which can go up to 30,000 dpi. Depending on your mouse, your max dpi can be different. Therefore, it's important to understand the basics before we get started. First, what is exactly dpi? DPI stands for dots per inch. DPI is the number of dots your mouse cross over by moving for one inch. For example, 800 DPI means that one inch mouse movement, the cursor moves over 800 dots. If I set my DPI to 400, it means by making a distance of one inch with my mouse, the cursor moves over 400 dots. Now that we know what is DPI, let's check what is sensitivity. In addition to DPI, you have the sensitivity settings, which is a multiplier to your mouse DPI. You have your window sensitivity and your game sensitivity. You can adjust both separately. Some games use the window sensitivity to navigate in the menu, but in almost every game you can adjust the sensitivity for playing. The lower the DPI, the less sensitive your mouse is. The higher the DPI, the more sensitive your mouse is. And finally, let's check what is eDPI or effective DPI. This is really your true sensitivity. This combines your DPI settings with your in-game mouse sensitivity. eDPI is a multiplication of these two parameters. You can set low DPI with a high in-game sensitivity to keep your eDPI. For example, 400 DPI by 2 in-game sensitivity equal 800 eDPI or 800 DPI on your mouse setting with one in-game sensitivity, you get 800 eDPI also. So, to visualize eDPI in games, make a full 360 degrees turnaround in a first-person games. The distance it takes to make this 330 degrees in centimeters or inches is your eDPI. So, before we get started in games, let's sum up. What we want is to check with the same E sensitivity what happens with a low DPI and what happens with a high DPI settings in games. So, in other words, what happens when you move your mouse the same distance when it caps less dots and more dots. We will do a test in the three most famous online games for the moment. CSGO, Valorant and Apex Legends. I will make a comparison between playing with 100 dpi and 30,000 dpi, which is the higher dpi I have on the Viper V2 Pro. Now, it's very important. As I explained before, in order to always have the same E sensitivity while changing my dpi, I have to adjust my sensitivity in game. First, let's get started with CSGO. My sensitivity is 2.5 with a DPI of 800. So my eDPI is 2000. If I want to play with 100 DPI, 
I should adjust my in-game sensitivity. Setting 100 dpi means I have to increase by 8 my in-game sensitivity, which is 20. So my eDPI remains the same. Playing with 100 dpi looks like this. It feels like your game is lagging, it looks like your mouse movement is stuttering, it's not smooth, but it feels easier to follow a line. You can't have more control because your mouse pointer is jerking. So now, let's make the same test but with 30,000 dpi. To reach my eDPI, I have to decrease my in-game sensitivity by 37.5, which means I have to divide 2.5 by 37.5 and this is around 0.067. So now playing with 30,000 dpi in CSGO is completely the opposite. It's smooth, maybe too smooth, You moving your mouse around gives you a great feeling but when you try to track a target or a border it's harder. It's like the mouse is anticipating your movement. Now let's move to Valorant. My in-game sensitivity is 0.8 and my DPI is 800. So my eDPI is 640. When I set my DPI to 100, I have to adjust my in-game sensitivity to 6.4. And here is the same in Valorant. It feels even worse. The game is almost unplayable but it's where my accuracy for tracking a line is also the most impressive. But when it comes to aim fast your target, it's bad. Now, I set my DPA to 30,000. Following the same method, I have to set my sensitivity to 0.021. And here, the same as for CSGO. It feels really smooth, but a smooth. You feel it's very fast without affecting your DPA. It's hard to follow an edge, but you are faster, your mouse sensor catch more dots. And finally, let's move to Apex. My sensitivity in game is 1.8. So with 800 standard DPI, my eDPI is 1440. So, for playing with 100 dpi, I should set my in-game sensitivity at 14.4. And as you can see on the screen, it's the same as before. It's not smooth, it's jerking, but it makes the mouse more precise. Now, let's see with 30,000 dpi. So here, like for CSGO and Valorant, I have to divide my in-game sensitivity by 37.5 which is 0.048, but unfortunately I can set my in-game sensitivity lower than 0.2 in Apex. So this means I can only increase my DPI by 9. So the highest DPI I can set on my mouse is 7200. So 0.2 in-game sensitivity with 7200 DPI. Even with 7200 dpi, it's definitely smoother than before. Another point where you need to pay attention is the sensitivity while you are in the menu or in some games also when you navigate in your inventory. As I said before, most of the games use for this your window sensitivity. If you set your dpi to 30,000 and adjust your in-game sensitivity, this will not apply for games menu, inventory or in Windows. Here you need to go to the Windows settings, device, choose mouse, additional mouse options, pointer options. If you set your mouse to 30,000 dpi, then you have to slow down the speed all the way down. If you use less than 30,000 dpi, of course, you should adjust the setting until you feel comfortable. So now you can let your mouse with 30,000 dpi. To sum up, we saw how to adjust your in-game sensitivity to fit your DPI in order to not impact your effective DPI. It's obvious that playing with a low DPI makes less sense. However, playing with a higher DPI can be interesting. It's great to play with the maximum DPI of your mouse. 
Yes, of course, you use the maximum for what you paid for, but do you need it? No. You won't see a big difference when you play above 1600 dpi. I tested it with 400, 800, 1600 and 30,000. Between 400 and 800 dpi it's almost the same. Between 800 and 1600 dpi you see a slightly difference and between 1600 and 30,000 there is almost no difference. So at least for me it makes no difference. But it's still worth a try. It's free and it can help you to understand how to set your in-game sensitivity and dpi and maybe you can find the right settings. And you, did you already try playing with these parameters? Please leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe in order to not miss the next one. Bye bye.